good morning and good evening. Welcome to the chanting session where we chant, where the aspiration is to chant till we become the chant. We are so full of thoughts, so full of emotions, sentiment, sentimentalities, reasons, logics, ambitions, becomings, that we go really far from home. And I feel that chanting is a way by which we come back or we can come back. While the whole world is, you know, talking and going around, around you, going on and on. There are times when you are able to set aside, you know, whatever is going on and focus on a chant or be with a chant or become a chant even for a small time. And when you are able to do it even once, you realize, we realize the power of chant. So we've already started with the mother's name and we'll move forward from here. Just a reminder that when we are chanting, if we do it with our focus, if we do it with our concentration, it's then that, you know, the magic happens. Without that too, I mean, if we are not able to concentrate, it's not that we'll stop chanting. But when we are able to focus on the meaning, on the name, and we are able to feel the love or the devotion and the devotion, it really adds on. Yeah. So next, I am hearing the uh, Vameb Mata, Chapata Vameb Mantra. And uh, although I think we all know it, still I'll be screen sharing the meaning and the wording. You alone I'm are my mother. That you can hear you it. You alone, now. my and father. Hopefully, see it too. If not, you, you can let me know. Are my family. You alone, my friend. You alone are my knowledge. You alone, my wealth. You are everything to me, O Lord of Lords. You alone. Tvamiva Mata Chapita Tvamiva Tvamiva Bandhus Chasakha Vidya 
this i don't know what to call this this mantra this chant this aspiration this prayer i think it has a lot of strength it has a it has a lot of center to it i often live very dispersed and scattered finding meaning sense grounding a center in things in people in situations in circumstances in countries in places never finding it really truly anything that i find is transient and often gives me suffering along with any pleasures it may give me in one i can truly feel truly believe and even if i want to start to believe that the divine is my mother and my father he is my family and my friend he is my knowledge and my wealth 
He is my everything, my God of God. We have too many sentimentalities, too many stories, too many comforts attached to these tags. My mother, my father, my family, you know, the one that supports me, my friend who's standing by my side. Knowledge, we give so much, so much importance to knowledge. Wealth, man, what else can we do for accumulating more wealth? And here, with a simple, simple, simple chant, I'm saying that you are everything. So even though I might not fully believe in it, even though I might not be living it, if I can, if I want to start believing in it, this will, this feels like a beautiful thing to believe in. Yeah, a beautiful chant. Yeah, so after this, the next chant that we'll take, be taking up today is the Maha Mrityunjay Mantra. So I am, we have taken it up before and I'm, we, I know we would know the basic meaning and yet still just going through it. So is Om Triambakam Yajamahe Sugandhin Pushti Vardhanam Urva Rukume Bandhanan Mrityu Moksha Ma Vardhanam. So here, I mean, there are so many translations available for it online. One of them mentioned under this one is We worship the three eyed Lord who is fragrant and who nourishes and nurtures all beings, as is the ripened cucumber with the intervention of the gardener, which, you know, here it signifies God is the gardener and I am, say, a cucumber, is freed from its bondage to the creeper. May he liberate me from death for the sake of immortality. So a lot of people, when they are sick, when there's fear of death, when they want to make sure that this birth also doesn't go waste, they like to chant the Mahamrityunjai Mantra, which promotes healing, health, and so many other things. You know, think like it's considered a very powerful mantra. So we'll, you know, hear more about it. But first, for the next, like maybe seven minutes, we can chant this along with the chant that I play. I'm assuming you can hear the music. If you can't, please let me.
Apologies for the abrupt talk. That was Maha's Rector Jai Mantra. I did look it up more online before the session and there were some, some other stories associated with it. And I, I'll just read something that I read. I'm sharing it here. It is said that there was a time there was no death, but then the world became congested and its resources approached the point of exhaustion. So Yama was given the role of bringing death to beings to restore nature's balance and relieve the suffering of the planet. Death needed servants to accomplish his task. And the servants for disease, famine, accidents, old age played this role and acted as death's messengers. But not understanding its place in the order of the universe, all beings feared death. They witnessed premature death and worried lest they may be taken before the appropriate time. When that time did come, Fear of death led to even greater suffering. So to overcome this fear, it is said that Lord Shiva himself gave humanity the Maha Mrityunjay Mantra. Whenever there is listlessness, stress, grief or illness, or when fear of death intrudes in awareness, this great mantra can be used for healing, for maintaining vitality. The Mahamrityunjay Mantra restores health and happiness and brings calmness in the face of death. When courage or determination are blocked, it rises up to overcome obstacles. It awakens a healing force that reaches deep into the body and mind. So this mantra awakens a healing force that reaches the body and mind. And lastly, just as a plant patiently gathers nutrition from the soil, so healing and nourishing forces enter the human body through food, medicine, emotions and thoughts, encouraging thoughts. The Maha Mrityunjay Mantra attracts these forces and creates an inner environment to enhance their effectiveness. Thus, the mantra can be used whenever any restorative process is undertaken. So I think then that means we can use it and we must use it anytime we want to. So, you know, I basically share you know, mantras here because sometimes we resonate with something very strongly and probably that is what is needed for me at that time. So we don't need to pick one or have a whole list of mantras unless we want to. We can just pick one mantra and just make it our own and that would be more than enough. And yet there is so much beauty, so much delight in these mantras and it's a pleasure to say them, hear them, share them, share these here. So, we started with Ma's name and let us today end again with Ma's name. So, I'll share the same mantra that we started with today and we'll end with that. With full concentration, awareness, attention, and lots and lots of love, let me be with this for another few minutes.
were with shared by some senior sadhaks that now the integral yoga, the main essence is that I love the mother and the mother loves me. But how much do we live it? How much do we believe it? So if we want to live it or believe it more, I can start from today. And it's a beautiful, beautiful journey. So before we end, just aspiring and praying that we all find a true purpose. May we all are able to chant to become the chant so that the life can be steered towards the direction that will give me peace, contentment, true joy and will help me reach the truth. Sharing the merit, if any, by my practices, my deeds, my actions, my words with all sentient beings. May all beings be truly happy, joyous and content and at peace. This I aspire and this I pray. Thank you. Thank you.